How's it going guys? We are back with another video here and again happy holidays. I hope you guys enjoyed your day yesterday uh, It was a great day for me I spent with my family and you guys were unbelievable to support yesterday uh, Just seeing the views on those videos just it means the world. I got 20,000 views on the channel Yesterday, that's probably the most I've ever gotten in one day So I mean thank you so much from the bottom of my heart the success on this channel for this year has just been I'm just so lucky. That's all I can say. So, guys, without further ado, though, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And we're going to hop into the Team of the Year predictions, okay? So, what am I talking about when it comes to Team of the Year, all right? So, people are asking probably, well, when is Henry, when is Team of the Year going to come out, Henrik? I mean, wh what's going on here? So, EA kind of leaked the Team of the Year. Like, they kind of put it in sets, like, a couple weeks ago. So, obviously, we knew it wasn't going to be, you know, this event. But... You can kind of get an idea it's coming very soon, which, in my opinion, very soon would be next Friday, New Year's Eve, December 31st, all right? So, uh, so going by that logic, why am I thinking that, all right? So, usually, it's very, very early January. NHL 20 right here. This came out, actually, in January. This came out in January, uh, Team of the Year, and this is what the Team of the Year was. These are the players that were on it. Uh, so, basically, they did a center, a left wing, a right wing, a right D, and actually two right Ds. It's pretty surprising because... Uh, usually it's like position, but I guess they didn't really care this year. So uh, it was McDavid, Ovechkin, Kucherov, Burns, Carlson, and Bennington. Uh, I mean, that, those are pretty fair. I mean, McDavid's always outstanding. I remember having, I had three of those cards. I had McDavid, Ovechkin, and Burns. They were so good, those cards. They were actually so good. They were on my team all year, of course. I mean, I mean, how would you have a 95, 94, 93 Burns? I mean, those are ridiculous cards. Uh, even Kucherov's good. I just didn't have him. But, uh, yeah, I mean, those are the team of the year from NHL 20. Uh, I like the design. They're really cool. Uh, but then also NHL 21. These came out on New Year's Day as well, guys. Uh, this is the team of the year from last year. Uh, again, so basically it'd be around the same time. It's like a day day earlier, right, which wouldn't make a difference. I think it was a Friday uh, last year, New Year's, right? So that's probably why. Um, and then as you can see, it's Dry Saddle, Panarin, Pasternak, Makar, Hedman, and Vasileski. All right, so definitely a really, really good team of the year as well. Uh, I mean, actually, all different cards as well. So maybe they won't do the same players again. So I don't think that, what do they do, Hedman or Makar? Again, that's a real question, or Vasileski. But at the end of the day, it's team of the year, right? So, uh, you know, you got to think. You gotta think they would still do the same thing, right, guys? Another thing that I want to talk about with the Team of the Year before I really go too far is also, I think that, like, a Team of the Year as an X-Factor card, which they probably will, I think, realistically, you're gonna be able to trade in your X-Factor card for the Team of the Year card for, like, maybe something, like, maybe, like, a, like a, something they should trade in, like, a little, like, extra. Because, realistically, the Team of the Year card should be the best cards in the game. Team of the Year should be the best cards in the game, like, regardless. Like, they should have the best synergies, they should have the best abilities, everything like that they should have. At least in my eyes, but yeah, I mean, I think uh, very, very much so that uh, that this is a definitely uh, going to be very exciting. So here's my predictions, guys. Here are my predictions, all right? So starting off to me with the center, all right? And this to me has to be an obvious one. I think if he does not get this, that would make absolutely uh, no sense, uh, at least in my eyes. Uh, for the center position, it has to be, I mean, it just simply has to be. From the Edmonton Oilers, Connor McDavid, all right? So, McDavid, as you can see, guys, is unreal. I mean, he had 105 points in the season last year, uh, 49 points already in this year. So, again, it's only for the year 2021, right? And McDavid played, it was only 2021 that season. The 2021 season was only 2021. So, he scored, a, he, so far, he has 150 points in, uh, in like, 82 games, basically. It's ridiculous. Uh, it's actually ridiculous. So, yeah, I mean, uh, McDavid is uh, much so much deserving of that center position. I mean, if he doesn't win it, I mean, you can say dry saddle, I guess. But, I mean, I feel like McDavid has a lot more points. And he's just, he won the Hart Trophy. Or, no, did he not? Yeah, he won the Hart Trophy in, 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 in last year. I mean, come on. He won the Art Ross. I mean, how would he not be the Team of the Year center? That would make absolutely no sense, at least in my opinion. But Conor McDavid should be the Team of the Year from the center position. Uh, and then moving on to the next position now. Uh, I'm going to go to the left wing position, and this is where it gets a little bit tough, I feel like. So, for me, it's going to be Alex Ovechkin, all right? So, why am I going with Ovechkin? So, <sighs> Ovechkin didn't play amazing last year. Uh, he got hurt as well, so he would have scored 30 goals, I'm sure. Ovechkin loves scoring. He, don't, he always scores goals. Probably would have scored, like, 30 goals at least. So, 42 points in 45 games. Yeah, it's a bit underwhelming. I feel like they always kind of just go with Ovechkin. Yeah, they always love Ovechkin. And also, he's been amazing this year so far. So, that's also another reason why I think that 
he possibly could be, uh, you know, on on the, on the team of the year again. I mean, he's always, you know, such a fun card to use. And, and EA obviously loves getting Ovechkin cards because, I mean, everyone wants Ovechkin, right? He's always got the best shot, basically. Good speed, you know, huge build. So, yeah, that, that's why I think Ovechkin could definitely be on the left winger, at least for team of the year this year. So, uh, let's move on to the next one now. And uh, the right wing is going to be Miko Rantanen in my eyes, all right? So, Miko Rantanen. Why don't they give me Miko Rantanen? So, Miko Rantanen... I had an unreal season last year, 66 points in 52 games played, and he already has 30 points in, a, in a 24 games this year, 14 goals. So, uh, yeah, I think uh, he's really, really great. So, uh, I think Rantanen definitely, uh, he's one of the better right wings in the whole league easily. Definitely no Kucherov playing, so that's why he's also not going to really be up there, because Kucherov I would produce a little bit more, but... He doesn't play Kucherov, and remember, this is for the whole year, and Kucherov has played probably, what, like 30 games the whole year? So, I mean, yeah, I mean, come on. Rantanen is uh, ridiculous, and, and again, Kucherov's like all playoff games, basically. Uh, Rantanen would be a fun card as well. He'd be awesome, because uh, Rantanen, especially if you got an upgrade like for his X-Factor, you get a speed upgrade. Oh my goodness gracious, that'd be unbelievable. That'd be unbelievable. Uh, his speed would be crazy, at least like 90 plus speed for a 6'4 forward. That's unbelievable. Rantanen's such a fun card to use every year in HUT, so... I think it'd be a really, really good idea for EA to do that. And again, he has the numbers to back it up for sure. All right. So moving on to the defense part now of the team of the year, guys. And now to the defensive part of team of the year. And I'm going to select Victor Hedman. Okay. So why am I going with Victor Hedman? All right. So you're probably saying, well, Henrik. All right. I mean, listen, he's not as good as, uh, you know, other players like Yossi or something like that. Well, the reason why I think Hedman is because also he got a lot of, uh, you know, you know, uh, hardware. Another Stanley Cup for, for Hedman. Uh, another good season. 45 points in 54 games played last year. So far, so good this year. Uh, 31 points in 30 games as well. So, he's definitely produced at a very good rate. So, definitely like to see that out of Hedman. He's been very, very solid. Uh, and again, Hedman's always another guy that EA loves to kind of just pick and, and choose to be on like these featured teams, you know, like, they definitely love him, you know, in this game, and as they should, I mean, he's definitely deserving, so, I mean, Hedman's an outstanding D-man in real life, so, uh, that's, that would definitely make a lot of sense, and out of the right defense, and this is an obvious one, at least in my eyes, it's gonna be Adam Fox, I mean, Fox won the Norris last year, he has clearly risen to the top of the rankings, he's definitely a really, really good D-man, top three at least, I don't think you can argue it's between him, Makar, and, uh, and maybe Hedman, you know, I mean, it's really just such a you know, great defensive, uh, you know, there's so many great defensemen in the league right now. Uh, he got 31 points in 30 games this year, 47 and 55 last year, won the Norris, like I said, as well. So that's really, really good as well. So yeah, guys, I would have to go with him due to the fact that he's won the awards and again, he's really rising and, and it's kind of obvious. Fox hasn't gotten a lot of upgrades this year, like no like exclusive event cards or, you know, really big upgrades. I think it's obvious he's getting team of the year. Uh, if he's not team of the year, I mean, you could come back to this video and dislike it and say, Henrik, you're just actually so stupid. I'm never going to watch your video again, all right? So if he doesn't get team of the year, come back and do that, all right? Uh, but yeah, Fox, uh, I would definitely say that he's uh, number one for right Ds, at least for, for this year. Because McCarr's been hurt and stuff like that as well. And plus he won the Norris, right? And then for the goalie, I think it's got to be Vasilevsky, right? Another Stanley Cup championship for Vasilevsky. I mean, what more can you say about Vasi? He's outstanding. Uh, I think he should probably should have won the Vezina last year. I know Fleury won it, but uh, I think he's just so deserving. He really, really is. Uh, Vassi is the best goalie in the league, at least in my eyes. I mean, you don't win the Cup two years in a row with, with being a bad goalie. I know the Lightning have a stacked team, but he definitely does bail them out a lot watching those playoffs last year. Uh, watching the last two playoffs, really, the bubble and this, uh, he's just such a fun goalie to watch and such a good goalie. And honestly, a little bit underappreciated, I feel like, sometimes by people. He's one of the better goalies we've seen in a while, so... Yeah, that's pretty much uh, my team of the year predictions. Let me know what your guys' team of the year predictions are. Usually, it's going to be center, left wing, right wing, lefty, right D, goalie. It's going to be six cards. It's going to be one release. I think team of the year usually lasts one week as well because, I mean, it's only just one week of cards, right? So, there's really not much more to team of the year. There's not like there's event cards exclusive, you know? It's going to be kind of just basic, you know, one week team of the year. At least I, unless I'm crazy. I think that's what it was. Let me see if I can kind of like look back. Uh, yeah, so team of the year, actually, yeah, yeah, team of the year ended January 17th, and it came out, uh, January 10th. I believe the event started a little bit earlier than, because there was team of the year nominees, I don't know if they'll do that again, but we'll see, we'll see. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, though, if you did, make sure you leave a like, subscribe if you're new here, follow me on Twitch, Henrik, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Henrik3Es, and join the Discord to talk to me. 
follow the subscribers of the channel. Guys, thanks so much for the support. As always, it's been unbelievable on the channel. I'm so thankful for all the support. And I'll see you guys all in the next video.